to drive home this uh, relationship between charge and current, let's just do a couple of examples. Remember that current I is equal to the time rate of change of the current, or dQ dt. It's measured in coulombs, where its units are coulombs per second, which we also refer to as amps. So for example, if we knew our charge distribution as a function of time, Q of t was equal to 3t squared, then I of t, the rate at which the current was changing, would equal dQ of t dt, which would simply equal 3 times 2 times t, or 6t. Let's look at that graphically. If we have a charge distribution that's equal to 3t squared, it's something that's doing, it's, ex, or it's a quadratic, it's a parabola, a parabola with a scaling factor of 3 on it. Okay. The current, so this would be Q of t, and the time rate of change of this would then be I of t, which is equal to 6t. The current, the number of coulombs per second, is increasing. It's not a constant current. It's increasing with time at a rate of 6t. So after one second, you'd have 6 coulombs per second going. At the end of two seconds, you'd have 12 coulombs per second flowing, and so on. All righty, now what if we had I of t given to us? That I of t was a constant 5 coulombs per second, or 5 amps. Then Q of t would equal the integral from 0 to t of I of let's use a different variable, a, a variable of integration, i of x dx, which would equal the integral from 0 to t of 5 dx, which then equals 5x evaluated from 0 to t, which would then equal 5 times t. So let's look at the graph of that. Now we're given i. i is a constant 5 coulombs per second. You've got the, the rate at which the charge is changing is 5 coulombs per second. So the charge then is just adding up the, the electrons or the coulombs as they flow. And we then get that i, or I'm sorry, q of t would be a straight line q of t equals 5t if i of t is a constant 5 amps.